when a company goes public, the offer price isn't a permanent valuation. It only represents the level at which large institutional investors have agreed to buy blocks of shares on or before the first day. Once the shares open to the public, that agreed upon price evaporates and the laws of supply and demand take over. From that moment, the price represents sentiment. And the way that sentiment changes over the first days and weeks is extremely hard to predict. The stock might pop and surge upward, or it could slump and sink below the offering price. For decades, researchers have been trying to figure out if there's a way to predict which outcome you're going to get. But how? How do you take a company's pre-listing information as input and derive its market day performance as the output? That is, how do you predict the behavior of an IPO based only on the information available when the stock hasn't even started trading yet? That's the puzzle at the heart of today's paper. The authors tackle it not by looking at post hoc market data or investor sentiment, but at the one artifact every company must produce before going public. It's prospectus. Using multinomial logistic regression, they take the data embedded in those documents as predictors. They classify IPOs as likely to perform below average, average, or above average in their first month of trading. It's a structured statistical approach to what has historically been an intuition-driven game. And it's offering a new lens on how much predictive signal may be sitting in plain sight. If you're already a member of Journal Club, you just got access to this episode. Log in and watch it anytime. See you there.